Hello you lot, my name's Orinoco and I'm here to try and help you understand how glow starters and glow plugs work and the quite important part they play within your nitro engine. This might be handy if you're new to nitro. If you're not new to it, just pretend you are. So, first of all, where are you going to find a glow plug? You'll find it stuck in the top of your engine. This is your car, this is your engine. In top of that, there's your glow plug. In order to get this out, you need a little spanner, of which I could have been a bit more prepared with, but there is one. All you have to do is turn it like that and take it out. There's different types of glow plugs, different heats and different types. The most common type and probably the type that you'll come across because remember you're new to nitro is the type with a little copper washer that sometimes gets stuck in the engine there which is no problem if it does. Um, I'll try and get this one out just so that I can show you what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> there it goes. Little um, copper washer, and uh, all that does that creates a seal between the glow plug and the uh, the head on the engine. Sometimes you'll take the plug out, and it'll be stuck to the glow plug like that. And other times it'll stay there. Sometimes it will fall out and go somewhere, but you must have it. You can't just go, oh, 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 leave that out, because it won't make a very good seal. There are, on the other hand, different plugs called turbo plugs, and they're tapered. They don't have a washer. They're just tapered, and the head's got a taper in it, or a chamfer, and it'll go in there. But those you normally see on more advanced engines, you don't normally see those on little ready-to-run engines that we're talking about. So, this is the glow plug, and what it, the way that it works is, because nitro fuel, for those of you that you may be very, very new to the world of nitro, <clears throat> this is a bottle of nitro fuel. You can get different types, different brands of nitro fuel, um, and then there's many, many, many other different brands as well and different percentage different percentages but in general this is nitro fuel and because it well i don't know what the flash point is but because it has quite a low flash point it's a bit like diesel and it requires heat and compression or yeah, pretty much compression. I mean, you can put a bit on the table, heat it with a blowtorch, and it won't catch on fire. If you hit it with a hammer, as well as heat it, it'll burst into flames. So, the role of a glow plug is much the same as a diesel engine. The little filament inside there, that you can just about see, that little coiled up spring, glows when electric is passed through it. Heating up the combustion chamber inside the engine and that combined with the compression of when you turn the engine over the piston comes up and compresses the fuel which will be in the engine along with the heat and it combusts and uh, your engine will run <clears throat> without this glow plug being lit or ignited it won't work so Let me see, let me light this one up and then you can, can you see the little filament in there glowing? Let me see if I can get a bit of a better focus on that for you. Hopefully I will be able to. Please bear with me there. Come on Mr. Camera. Focus on me little plug. Hmm. Having a bit of trouble here with the focusing. We'll get there. Maybe if I... Uh... There we go. Right, now we've got to focus. Uh, 
there we go it's not going to focus on the whole spring but it's lit up now there we go so all this is really inside the glow plug is you've got the positive contact there and the bit on the outside is negative and with inside a glow starter we'll take one apart in a minute so you can see the insides of a glow starter um, the electricity flows through that little coiled up spring and makes it glow just like a light bulb like a light bulb does the filament inside a light bulb glows when electric is passed through it it's the same sort of thing so let's put this glow plug back inside this engine and then we'll go and find a glow starter and take it apart so you can see exactly what's inside a nitro glow starter you will find that you can get several different types of glow starter um, there's these type here these are the most common with the little little handles there and you do that slide it on there's all different types of them they're all roughly the same voltage you can get ones where you can change the batteries inside them rechargeable batteries um, you can also get high powered ones you can get ones without the little things these just twist lock on and you can get glow starters where you put in there's a lot of corrosion inside that one we don't want to be doing that one but you can put in AA batteries and um, 1.5 volt AA batteries and um, you don't have to charge it up you just replace the batteries in them it all depends what you prefer and um, you know your preference really personally I prefer the rechargeable type and I prefer the ones that you can fast charge like this one you can fast charge that with your charger this one quite a hefty one you can fast charge that you can fast charge some of these but usually they come with a little charger standard charge 16 hours to fully charge it's better to fast charge them but I don't know that one you can't uh, fast rechargeable there we go no memory effect this one you can you can fast charge anyway so let's find one that we can take apart um, what's this one like yeah we should better take this one apart so this this glow starter here um, it's just like that and the little contacts are in there you pull that down and it slides out and you can pull the top of that off off comes a spring and then you can unscrew that and there's the little wire this one the battery is this is the battery it's got a, a case around it so you can't change the battery on this one not like the other one that I showed you where you could unscrew it and change the battery and also much the same as uh, this one um, you can unscrew them and uh, just change the batteries as and when you prefer but um, these ones you can't and there's the little positive wire going up there probably two wires in there positive and negative and um, yeah just makes a connection Bob's your uncle there's not a lot to say about a glow star a very very simple piece of equipment but very oh what are we doing? but very very vital that's quite funny try to put it together without putting the uh, little what do you call that stem I suppose um, a very very vital piece of equipment because without it a nitro engine won't run it is as simple as that I would recommend that you do exactly what I don't do and in the winter months when it's a bit cold and nippy outside because these have got batteries in them and um, it's best to try and keep them charged up so if I were you um, depending on where you store your nitro cars if you store them in a, in a shed or a garage where they're going to get cold or open to the, the, the elements the coldness take your glow starters uh, along with any other battery you've got and bring them indoors yeah don't let them get really cold um, 
because I don't do that and I keep mine in in the shed and um, what's happened is some of the batteries have had it now you get some new batteries for some of these glow starters so I definitely would recommend that you keep them at room temperature all the time when you're storing them and try to keep them charged up don't let them go flat keep them charged up and uh, that way you should have happy glow starters and they should be reliable I would recommend if you're new to nitro I put you probably are if you're watching this get more than one um, you can go out and buy really expensive glow starters but I would recommend that if you're just new to nitro you, the normal cheap ones are fine you know these HSP ones are really cheap and just because they're cheap well uh, I was gonna say that don't mean that they're nasty but I suppose some of them are but these HSP ones seem to work reasonably well for new you know if you're if you're just getting into nitro it will do you get a couple of them yeah um, have one or two Definitely more than one, because that way, if you're out and about, and you think you've charged this up, but if this ain't got a charge in it, you've had it. You might drive an hour to go to a local track, BMX track or something. You go to start up your nitro car, this turns out to be flat. You've had it. But if you've got two of them, and you've charged them both up overnight, the chances of them both being flat are going to be quite small. So if this one's dead and add it, and you need to put it in the bin and buy a new one, this one is probably going to be fine. So there's a little tip from me. I recommend you have more than one glow starter and you take it with you. And make sure they're charged up at all times. One more little tip, and I've said this tip a couple of times um, on, on different videos, but seeing as we're doing a video on glow starters and glow plugs, I'll add it into this. A little tip that I recommend you do is you should have a little toolbox with you whenever you're going out and about. Um, just with various bits and bobs in. You don't have to carry a lot. You don't need a lot to run a nitro car. A lot of people over-dramatise it, but you don't need a lot. But I do recommend that you carry a, um, a spare glow plug. Not to put in the car, although it would be handy to, if it fits your car to put it in the car. But let's say your car's not starting, right? There's your car. It ain't starting. And you're thinking, why ain't it starting? You take the glow plug out, right? And the way to test a glow plug is, I've just shown you it in the beginning of this video, but the way you test it is, if your car won't start, one of the first things that you should do before you start fanning around with fuel pipes and whatever else, just make sure that you've actually got glow plug, right? Make sure it actually works. So you get your glow starter, you take the plug out of your car, you have a look at it. The first thing you look at is the plug wet? If the plug is wet, in which case you know the fuel is definitely getting to the combustion chamber and you definitely know you're getting fuel in the engine. So you haven't got to worry about fuel, you're getting loads of it. The plug's wet. Obviously if the plug is dry, you know that it's not, you're not getting fuel. Um, so that's the first obser observation you need to take, have a look at. And then the next thing is you get your glow starter and you put it on the plug like that. If you've got one of these types, uh, hopefully this one's charged up. If it's not, it'd be a good example. If you've got one of these types, you just put it down like that, stick it in the end, and then you'll see it's glowing. The end gets very hot, so don't put it on your fingers. Right? But let's just say you do that, and there's no glow. It doesn't glow. How do you know whether the glow starter is flat, or the glow plug has had it. You don't know, do you? So if you've got two glow starters, you can get another glow starter and you can test it with the other glow starter. That's one one way of doing it. And that way, if it glows with that glow starter, you know the first glow starter is flat. But if it doesn't glow with the second glow starter, you know this plug's probably had it. So you carry a spare one in your toolbox and you can test test that one. And that way you know if it's your glow plug or your glow starter. And of course, the other reason why I like to carry a spare plug in the toolbox, the more, more the reason, really, is so that I haven't got a fanny around taking plugs out of the car. If the car won't start, I can simply just undo the toolbox, take out the spare glow plug, put it on the glow starter. Oh yeah, the glow starter's not flat. And that way I know that it's going to be a problem with the glow plug in the car. Ah! There's a lot for you lot to learn, but it's really very simple, and hopefully I've helped you out learning about 
how the glow plug works and how the glow starter works and why it's important and a couple of ways to sort of troubleshoot and diagnose a problem relating the glow plug or glow starter. If you've got any questions, all you've got to do is leave a comment in this video at the bottom in the little section of comments. Leave a comment, ask the question, either me will come back to you. If it's worth making a video of, and I think it'll help a load of people, I'll make a video about the question to help people out. And also, there's a very good community, my subscribers, they'll help anybody. So if you've got any questions, write a comment and you'll get more than one person come back and help you out with whatever it is your question is. Thanks for watching, you lot. Take care. Ciao for now.